All right. So on the subject of shared documents now, how do I share a document? Well, um, very easy, actually. You can do this in a number of ways. So again, I'm going to come into my files. You know, I maybe want to add some files in just before I share. So here is a folder called Tech Days. And like I said, all I do is just simply drag and drop the entire folder structure and it will bring it into OneDrive. And you can bring in multiple folders. So whatever you've selected, again, it can be super quick depending on how much is in it. But again, in this case, it might take a few moments. Okay, so now that this is uploaded, you can see I'm just gonna pop into here and sure enough, you can see that everything has come through. The next thing you might want to do, of course, is you might want to share this. Uh, with somebody within your organization. So again, you can do this in a number of ways. You can either share the documents uh, individually or you can share them uh, as a folder here. So again, you can see I can come in here, I can share the content, I can copy the link. So requesting access to files involves requesting access to shared files for which you might not have access to. And this puts in a request in uh, to the user and they can then go in and action that. You can also manage access. So if you've already set permissions, you can go in and you can uh, fix that. Um, the other thing that we can also do, again, you've also got this little icon here. So again, this is share. You can go up on the main menu. There are many ways to uh, do the same thing. So I'm going to share this and you can see I want to share this with somebody in the organization. Um, but most importantly here, we have a drop down arrow and it's important that you see this you, so they can edit that. You see the little pencil. So anything that you share here means that the users who you share this with will be able to edit that content. Now, uh, understanding, obviously, SharePoint permissions is super important. So this is where you have some control over your content. So are you going to allow the users to edit it or is it just simply view only or the most restricted is that they can't download it so they can view it, but not download a copy so they can view it online.